Hello and welcome to the final game of the 2022 high school football regular season. I'm Blake Morris, joined by my pal Andrew Petra on color commentary as the 7-1 Western Boone Stars come here today to take on their rivals, the 6-2 Lebanon Tigers, in a game with implications greater than just bragging rights in this rivalry. In shotgun, it's Fouts. He will take it. He's going to look around. He's going to run it himself, and he's going to be... It's going to be very close. It looked as though maybe he was just a tad short there. That's done a great job in recent years. Another handoff here. And he's on the loose. It's Trevor Weekly with a huge play there on third and eight. And he kept it himself, but looked as though he's going to be plenty short against uh, Southmont a few weeks ago. The hold is low. The kick is up. And he drills it. What a nice job by Josiah Smith there. First and 10 for the Tigers. He will take it. He's going to keep it. He's running around. He's scrambling. Now he's going to keep it and run. And he's going to get all the way near first down yardage. It'll look, and there is a flag down also after the play. It looked like they might have hit him out of bounds. So it looks as though either way it will likely be a Lebanon First down there. We'll have to see. We see Fouts go back into shotgun again. He's going to hand it off. And slips a couple of tackles in a really nice run there to pick up some of what they lost on those penalties for Lebanon at their own 46. And Fouts is going to pass it again. And it's batted up and incomplete. How Western Boone can do deeper on the field. Had some pressure. Got it off early. A high kick. Not a very far one. And his fair caught by Ryan Taylor around the 29 yard line of Western Boone as they get it on second and eight. Durbin gonna hand it off. No, he's gonna keep it and throw it to Bales and he's just around the first down marker. Or is Durbin gonna keep it? Well, it looks like he's gonna rush it and he's got an opening. Look at him go. Is anybody gonna catch him? Yes, oh. right around the five yard line. What a play there. I wish I had spoke earlier, Andrew. I would have bet on a Trevor Weekly run, but I wouldn't have expected such a huge run there. Let's look at the replay. He breaks through a tackle. See, really nice job there by number seven, Makai Smith, for Lebanon there. Able to track him down and prevent the touchdown, but we've seen so many of those by Western Boone this season, especially by Trevor Weekly, Andrew. And Going to hand it off, and that one is... A touchdown for Western Boone. Getting the touchdown there. Josiah Smith with the extra point. It's up and good to leave their mark on the game. 248 left in the first quarter. Fouts going to hand it off here and able to break a tackle and get to a little bit short of the sticks. That was number one, Carson Tool. Potential conversion out of it. So be handoff again. And picking up a few yards there. Fouts going to go deep here. And it is incomplete. Nearly made a huge play there. Fouts with a beautiful throw down the field. Had great spiral. Nearly caught. And the offense is still out on the field, Andrew. This is a big decision by Lebanon not to punt this thing away. Fouts going to go for it. Under center, he's got a lot of pressure. He's going to throw. And it is caught for a big conversion right there. That is number three, Trey Rise there at Western Boone's 39-yard line. Handoff here. He's got some room, but is stuffed. That was number one, Carson Tool there at Weebo's 39. Fouts going to keep it. He's going to toss it, and it is caught. A huge catch right there, and there's a flag as well. As Fouts is going to take the snap, he's going to hand it off, and stuffed immediately is Carson Tool once again, the Lebanon offense not able to. It is going to be kept by Fouts, who's going to get it to an open man. And that one, very close. And that is a Lebanon touchdown right there. Normal here. So this will be, or they'll go for two here, rather. My apologies. And it's incomplete, too high there. Going for number three, Trey Rees. Durbin back under center again. He is going to keep it. He's under pressure. He's going to throw it deep down the field. 
and it is intercepted. That is number two, Caden Lark, making the pick for Lebanon, and he'll get back to right around the 45-yard line of Western Boone. Durbin had to get rid of it immediately, launched it down the field and overthrew just a little bit. We'll get you a replay here. Andrew, looking at this, great job again by the Lebanon front. He took a shot as he released it as well, intended there for number 12 from Western Boone. That is Drew Gott but a little overthrown there and a big play for the Lebanon defense. Yeah, an incredible play by the Lebanon defense. Just the turnaround they needed right now. In shotgun once again. Looking over to the sideline, looking for the play. Snap a little high, he brings it down. That right there, another good run by Brendan Shockley. Landon Fouts back in shotgun. Oh no, he's gonna punt rather. An interesting play call there. And that ball, oh, that takes a beautiful bounce for Lebanon. You saw there. We'll get the replay there. Interesting play. It looks like Fouts is actually the punter there. And Trey Reed gets the ball. That is about as perfect as you can kick a ball right there, Andrew. I don't think Fouts could have gotten it any closer. Certainly so. And it's going to be a handoff there, a good gain there. Under center again, first and five now. And he dropped the ball. Not sure where it is. I, th I believe he picked it up, but is going to be tackled. Straight off of the field. Durbin going to keep it, and very close. We'll see what they call it. It looked like he might have been a tad short there. We'll see, and it looks like it will be fourth and under a yard there for Durbin. We'll see. They're going to hurry up. They're going to go for it here. And looked like he got it, and he and he sure did. So quick huddle, hurry up there. Making it second and five for the Stars. Durbin in shotgun. He's going to keep it. He's going to pitch it out to Ethan Bales, who's got huge open room. And he's going to get a big gain across the midfield there. And he was hit out of bounds, it looked like, as well. So there will be a flag down. Both of the referees around him called that. Past the 40, that is first and 10. Durbin's going to keep it. Looks to throw. He's going to throw deep. And was it caught? I believe it was caught there. What a play there by number 18 for Western Boone. That is Ree Prinzel. We've seen him make an impact recently. A big play here. And you watch Rowan Durbin make a huge throw. Fakes it, runs left, and gets just enough time to deliver a perfect ball here to the sideline to Prinzel to get now first and goal from the five-yard line. He's back under center again. He's going to take it. He's going to keep it himself again, but he's going to get stuffed again. Another big play by the Lebanon defense. But Coach Pelly not thinking about that here on third down where we have Durbin back under center again. Now he's going to hand it off, and that is a touchdown for Western Moon. That was Trevor Weekly getting his second rushing touchdown of the night. Another big one right there. Durbin, the extra point is blocked though. The hold was good by Durbin, just couldn't get it off quite in time. Had a lot of pressure there. Gonna kick it a little bit shorter here. Fielded by Shockley there, trying to get some blocks. He cuts back left. He's got some room and the ball came out and Western Boone has recovered. That right there is a huge play by the Western Boone special teams, which has been excellent all year long. Shout out to him. He's also a great tennis coach as well. Ethan Bales in motion. He's going to get the ball. He's going to break through. He is gone. Or is he? We'll see. He might have stepped out of bounds. We'll get a look here. It looks like he did step out. We'll get the replay here. It's still a really nice run. Hard to tell from our angle here, folks. Bale's going to, yeah, it does look like he steps out just around the 17-yard line, looking to do what they've done all season, try and rush down Lebanon's throats here to try and push it in. Another handoff here. Another big first down. That's Trevor Weekly once again. But Western Boone having to go 19 instead of 4 now, much more difficult. Bale's in motion once again. Durbin's going to keep it. He's going to look to throw. He's going to pass it to the end zone. And incomplete, I think. And it's going to be 
Handoff to Taylor. No, he's still got the ball, rather. Taylor, end zone. Touchdown, Western Mood. Looked like a handoff to Ryan Taylor. Looking at the clock there, I didn't even notice. There were There's one second left on the game clock in this first half. So that right there is a massive play for Western Boone. That is just incredible being able to get that. Because if they had not gotten it, they would have had about a second left. They could have kicked a field goal, potentially. Likely what they would have done there with only one play left. But instead, they get a huge touchdown. Nearly blocked again but for Josiah Smith, but he gets this one through. 23-6, Western Boone. Let's look at this replay here. Because I did not catch the game clock there, how quickly it was going by. So it was handed off to Taylor, then back to Blake Miller, back to Durbin, and Ryan Taylor had no coverage on him. And Durbin able to make one of the easiest touchdown passes of his life there. And that right there, another incredible play there by Western Boone. We'll get the slow motion here. Taylor to Miller to Durbin and then back to Ryan Taylor again. Whether that be defense, offense, or special teams. Conference title on the line here as we get into the second half. Ryan Taylor going to field the ball. Going to have some trouble with it. Going to have more trouble with it. And he's going to have to just fall onto it at around the 10-yard line. Third down. Durbin's got the ball. He's going to throw it to Taylor and incomplete. A little bit too high there. Still good field position. Fouts back under center. Quick throw. And going to take it and run with it and pick up a few yards. That is Trey Rees there on the receiving end. The junior there. We'll see. Third and less than a yard. Wide open man up there. Still going. And that is Fouts given time. Now he's under pressure and he's sacked. A huge play there by the Western Boone defense of the night for the Stars defense. It's third and 18. Fouts going to try and get some room, and he's sacked once again. That was Cannon Bruins here. It will be a punt. And my goodness, it, ne it is going to go into the end zone for a touchback. That was very nearly a perfect punt again. Made a lot of progress throughout the season getting these tough positions. Going to hand it off there to Trevor Weekly, who picked up, initially was blocked, then picked up a few more. Durbin under center again. Going to try and push forward, and he gets it. Team go for it. Hand it off once again to Trevor Weekly, and he's got it for a first down. He'll rush forward himself and pick up a good chunk of yardage there. So interesting dynamic there. Durbin going to keep it, look for the throw, going to pass it. Complete to Ethan Bales. Try to get a move on. Looks like he'll come up a tad short of the first down. <laughs> Alrighty. All of the above, Blake. Bold there, prediction. There may even Durbin be. will keep it, and he'll get the first down. So it was a big run. On a third down, we'll see what happens here. Going to hand it off again to Weekly, and he's got it for another big Western Boone first down. It looks like Tri-West is going to be able to take care of business unless there is a miraculous finish there. Meanwhile, Durbin here trying to steal it for Western Moon if they can. Pitches it out. He's got open room, and he is into the end zone. Trevor Weekly with his third rushing touchdown of the day. Yeah, certainly in a game like this, Western Boone able to run down the clock very efficiently. Josiah Smith's kick is good. Snap. Taking to the right. Throw, quick throw. It is caught by Carson Tool again as they look to convert here. Another handoff. That is to Carson Tool. He's got some room. The only option they have really is a, a big play here. No small running up the middle. Fouts is going to go to the left. He has a lot of room. He's got a first down and he's going to get out of bounds near the 30-yard line. And shotgun once again. Two receivers to his left, two to his right. He'll throw and incomplete. But there is a flag down. It looks like it'll be pass interference. It's going to be a handoff. Going to pick up a couple of yards. There's a flag down again. Lebanon has to get a lot of points. They have an opportunity here. Another handoff to Carson Toole. 
Bouncing shotgun. He's going to keep it. He's going to look around. Scramble to the left. He's going to try and cut it back inside. And very close here. We'll see. And there's a flag down as well. Now, Lebanon going to have to push real hard to get into the end zone here. Fouts gets it. He's going to toss it towards the end zone. It's going to be a little short, but it's going to be caught. And a great move there. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Caden Lark with a great move there, juking Weibo defenders and pushing his way into the end zone to convert for Lebanon. Two-point conversion here to make it a 30-14 to game. Going to pitch it into the backfield. Trying to make men miss again. It's Lark. And he's going to get to the edge and get the two-point conversion. Another big play there by Caden Lark here. Nearly took him down. But getting raced by, uh, by Tri-West as Weibo tries to recover the onside kick. And they do kick this thing away again. Not much pressure on him. Another good kick, though. Not much of a problem. Oh, yes. Did it touch? Did it touch him? I think it did. Touch number two, Caden Lark, but he's got the ball. And he's got some room. Gets it past midfield. So a mistake there by Lark. Can't field it there. Hits. It looks like it hit maybe his foot on the play. He does manage to track it down and get a good return past midfield. Spot is first and 25. It's going to be a handoff now, and he's going to be stuffed very quickly there. Not been as well as it was before. Uh... Fouts going to step up and throw down the field. He gives a prayer, and it is intercepted. That is Ethan Bales with the pick. And that right there might just end it it's and very... give the Stars a, comp a share of the conference title. Very unfortunate for uh, the Tigers. Uh... Big play there. Very unfortunate for the Tigers. He, The feeling was he had the lob up a prayer there. He did have a fourth down. Half doom. Half to him. Let's go with that. Smith to punt. Trying to get the block. Another good punt there. And it's muffed again by Lebanon. And we'll see who has it. And Western Boone has recovered. And that right there, folks, is going to end it. For sure. Evan Trent, he's made some big plays this year. Makes the big one. And the Western Boone Stars have secured... A share of the Sagamore Conference title. They are Sagamore Conference champions along with the Tri-West Bruins.